Hello, this video here will show you how to print cannabis labels using SCE. There are currently two different ways to print cannabis labels. This will show you the first way and the easiest. The first way is to go to inventories or simply select some inventory items that you want to print labels for. You can choose to select all the inventory items in a specific, specific room by clicking on the barcode checkbox here or you can decide to select specifically which products. In this case we'll just select this, the products here. Next we will go to print labels. Then we'll select print. I'll skip that step and actually just show you what the printed labels look like. But before I do, the other way to print labels is to actually create the manifest and then print the labels from there. Here's what our printed labels look like. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Now it's important to note, with our labels, we already use the, spe the specific information that's required by the Washington State Liquor and Canvas Board. So for example, if the product is used to be ingested, again, if the product is intended to be ingested, we print out the specific warnings already for it, and then we print out the specific information that's required by law. For example, we give the THC milligrams and the CBD milligrams, or we give the THCA, depending on the product type. Is it ingested or not ingested? Is it flour? Also something that's important here, we, you'll notice that we print out the warning information and the specific product information on two different pages. And the reason we do this is because some of our customers already print out the warning information on the package so they don't need to print that out. Therefore, if you wanted to print out 1,000 of these uh, labels, all you would have to do is choose in the PDF, the printing icon, choose how many copies that you wanted to do, let's say 300, and then you choose the page number. Is it the current page number or a page range? Let's say it's a page range and we'll just enter in a specific page number. In this case, we'll do page one because as you see here, page one is this item here and it is not the warning information right here. We won't actually print that out. However, if you would like to add additional information to your label, we do just that as well.